hello everyone i hope all are doing well today we are going to explaining about uh, we are just discussing about the ring buffer implementation in rust so i'll just uh, uh, show you the small snippet of code uh, which is uh, uh, queuing and dequeuing the elements from elements to the ring buffer so um, let's get started now uh, here so uh, let's uh, clarification about the ring buffer what is ring buffer uh, a ring buffer is a data structure that uses a single and fixed size buffer as if it is where uh, connected end to end the useful property of the circular or ring buffer is that uh, doesn't need to have any its elements shuffled around the when it's uh, when it's an when when an element is produced or consumed like uh, when it's an element uh, decayed and queued from the same uh, ring buffer structure so um, uh, ring buffer means uh, like it, it's it's has in some alter, alternate new name as circular queue circular buffer cyclic buffer those kinds of thing it's called like uh, next slide i will say about uh, um, uh, advantage of the ring buffers uh, we can use it as a uh, here if it is a uh, any uh, insertion and deletion uh, of the elements so here constant time insertion and deletions uh, we, uh, we can say uh, efficient memory usages here then uh, ideal for uh, streaming and applications uh, avoid uh, dynamic memory allocations and deallocations from the uh, memory layout so um, i will i will jump into the code first just explain the code now mm, here is a small snippet of code only so in this code just uh, we are we are creating a structure of the uh, structure called ring buffer it's having a buffer size return index and read index uh, these elements um, buffer is saying like type of vec growable uh, vector growable uh, array a contiguous growable array type this this one i'm taking and size uh you, you know about uh, these things you said on same side um then implementation for the ring buffer just uh, we implemented like uh, like new dq nq and uh, useful these functions are uh, i am implemented just i implemented these things just uh, in new if you are calling a function as a new it will create a fixed size of the buffer if you are saying like 10 elements elements in the in this buffer so tell them an 10 elements it will store in that it's a fi fixed fixed one so return in, into the same ad index and then uh, read from the index uh, also we can do uh, in nq nq function just we are uh, mm, like we are entering the values right so if if the array is full it, it will say like uh, ring buffer is full array is full means uh, if you are storing already 10 elements to the ring buffer so it, it will not store any values after that so it will in a circular way like uh, one is removing from there and inserting the other values from from the same array that like that it will do so dq also same thing we can empty the um, empty from the for deletion from that ring buffer so is full and is empty are uh, saying that uh, the index is sorry uh, the array, array is full or uh, empty just here then in, in main just calling a ring buffer and uh, in for loop uh, we are enqueuing the number of uh, 1 to 10 numbers so here uh, we're just printing enqueuing the same value nq function will call this nq nq uh, nq function uh, ring buffer to nq, NQ function one, one to another one to ten numbers are um, appending to the uh, ring buffer so then there's again again uh, that decuing de from there decuing elements from one to ten elements then ring buffer is uh, empty so here uh, just we can we can't it cannot store any other values so it will show show like uh, so, uh, ring buffer is full as of now let the 
if you are running it will say somewhere it's panicking somewhere it's panicking somewhere so let it be mm, just this is the mm, ring buffer concept so uh, in rust language some other different types of uh, uh, programming uh, uh, ring buffer programming is there like uh, if you go here like here yeah these are the types of the ring buffers now so sorry implementation of the three kinds of ring buffers now so if if you are saying allow allow uh, ring buffer ring buffer allocated on the heap on runtime at runtime this ring buffer is still fixed type only this uh, requires the alloc alloc features um, then uh, the type called growable alloc ring buffer in this allocation in this in this uh, type of ring buffer ring buffer allo allocated on the heap run at runtime the ring buffer can grow in size it can grow so here we are using vec vec deck vec dq uh, for the growable array thing then constant generic ring buffer type so here uh, ring buffer which used a constant generic to allocate on a stack memory so i, I will explain in details in uh, next further series of videos about these things one by one okay, i hope uh, this is clear to you bye bye